How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use NordVPN to get easier COD lobbies, improve your ping, and protect yourself from DDoS. Besides that, we're also going to talk a little bit about Nord and its key features so that you can use this VPN to its full potential. And of course, if you'd like to check out Nord for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Alright, so let's kick this off with what we care the most about when gaming, and that's ping. For the most part, Ping issues are directly tied to your ISP, as they could be throttling your internet connection intentionally or using longer routes to transfer data between you and the game's server, which spikes up your ping by quite a lot. For example, I inspected my data routes with my old ISP and found out that my data was routed from Europe to New York and then back to my gaming server in Europe. So instead of having an average 50 millisecond ping while playing Warzone, I was having up to 120 milliseconds, which as you can imagine, made the game awful to play. With NordVPN, however, you can easily fix both these issues in one simple trick, so let me show you how. First of all, we're going to pull up the list of Call of Duty servers and find which one we're playing on. Usually this is the closest server to your location, and in my case, that's going to be the Paris server. Next, I'm going to open up NordVPN, click on Settings, click on Connection, and change my VPN protocol to Nordlinks, which is Nord's fastest performing protocol. Now if you happen to face any issues with Nordlinks, you can always set it back to Auto and it'll choose the best performing protocol based on your situation. But Nordlinks is what makes Nord arguably the fastest VPN out there, so use it whenever you can. Besides that, I've not faced any issues with Nordlinks, so it's extremely rare to find a server that isn't compatible with this protocol. Alright, now that we've set the right protocol, we're going to click on the VPN icon on the sidebar and either type Paris in the search bar or hover over Paris on the interactive map, and then double click the server to connect to it. Once Nord is connected to the server, we're we're going to go back to Steam, click on Steam settings, and change the download region to match your VPN server. This will show you a screen asking you to restart Steam, so go ahead and do that. And once Steam is back on, you can launch COD and enjoy playing on low ping. Now you might be wondering, how does this exactly lower my ping? Well, by simply connecting to a VPN server, all your activity would be encrypted and your ISP would have no idea what you're doing online, so they won't be throttling your connection automatically when you launch Warzone. Besides that, since we've connected to the Paris VPN server, which is directly close to the Warzone game server, we've basically redirected all of our data to travel in a beeline straight to the game server, instead of taking the longer and cheaper routes our ISPs use to transfer our data. By doing this, we've shortened the distance our data takes to travel, which would potentially give us way better ping than our base ping. And so this is how you can solve both of these issues causing you ping spikes in one go with NordVPN. Okay, so besides improving your ping, you can also use NordVPN to gain access to easier Warzone lobbies and avoid skill-based matchmaking. All you have to do here is boot up Nord, set the protocol to Nordlinks, connect to a VPN server in a country with little to no active COD players such as Egypt, change your Steam download region to match your VPN, and then restart Steam. Now, I'm aware that there are services like Lobby God and No Lag VPN that can also do this, but these services are not exactly all that great. First of all, most Warzone lobby services have small pools of countries that they have access to, and they're now filled with a lot of players trying to gain access to easier lobbies, and this would essentially put all these players within these same limited regions, achieving almost nothing. With Nord, however, you'll have access to over 111 different countries instead of the four or five countries you get with lobby services. So you can easily find a country with not many active players and rank up in Warzone without running into other players using such services. And another thing I found about Warzone lobby services is that most of these websites use fresh accounts to show players that they can get access to easier lobbies when it's in fact skill-based matchmaking doing this thing and pairing newbies with other newbies who just started the game. Besides that, if we're talking value-wise, these services cost between $7 and $10 a month and you can only use them for Call of Duty. Meanwhile, NordVPN costs about $4 a month, and you can use it for a lot of things other than Warzone, like accessing different streaming service libraries, protecting your data while browsing the internet, and pretty much improve your ping while playing any Steam game, not just Warzone. Now, besides improving your ping and allowing you to access easier lobbies, Nord can also protect you from DDoS attacks, which are very common these days. You see, the way DDoS attacks work is that these cheaters use something called IP sniffers to fetch your IP address and overload your network with so much data to the point where you even disconnect from Discord. That said, when you connect to a VPN server, your IP address will be masked by that of the server, so these hackers won't get a hold of your real IP, and their DDoS attacks won't be effective against you. Alright, now that we've covered pretty much everything Nord can do to improve your gaming experience, let's talk a little bit about some of the other bonus features you get with Nord. That said, I won't go into details to avoid making this video longer than it already is. So if you want to know more about Nord, you'll find an in-depth review linked in the description down below. For starters, Nord is one of the most consistent VPNs when it comes to accessing streaming services due to their obfuscated servers. And with their huge list of 111 countries, you can access almost all streaming services and libraries from around the world. Now, as far as security goes, Nord has a feature called Threat Protection, which acts as a mini antivirus as it blocks ads, trackers, and malicious pop-ups while you're browsing the internet. 
and it also scans your downloads and apps for malware and notifies you whenever action is needed. Besides that, you also get the dark web monitor, which scans the dark web for any of your sensitive data, such as your phone number and email address, and it notifies you about these instances immediately so that you can take action before it gets out of hand. And last but not least, we have the MeshNet feature, which allows you to send and receive files over the secure network of Nord. And I was pleasantly shocked when I found out that you can host LAN parties using this feature, which is definitely a great plus. Now, this is pretty much everything Nord has to offer. Again, if you want to know more about Nord, you'll find an in-depth review in the description down below. And that'll be all for today's video. Hope these tips and tricks will help you improve your Warzone experience. Thank you so much for watching. And again, don't forget to use the link in the description to grab yourself the best Nord discount possible. And check out the full review as well if you want to know more about this VPN. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos. Let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.